one. I wanted to show you the beginning crochet uh, double crochet stitch. <laughs> and our goal is to make one of these dish claws. So I have a 2.5 ounce ball of yarn and that is 70.9 grams and also I'm using a size G6 or 4.25 millimeter crochet hook and I have already done 20 chain stitches um, to be ready to make the dish cloth. So, I'm going to loop our thread then we're going to pick up the yarn and it's called a yarn over and then you're going to count back. You're going to go to the third chain and you're going to go into the top loop. You're going to pick up your thread, yarn over, pull it out the first loop and then you're going to pull it in the second loop. You've dropped two off. You had three. You dropped two. Now you're going to drop off two more. Now you had four because you yarned over. So we're going to do that again. Pick up your thread. Go into the top of the chain. Pick up your thread. Pull it through. We're going to drop two off. Then we're going to drop off pick up our thread, yarn over, and drop two more off. Pick up your thread and pull through. This dishcloth is, um, once you get the habit, once you get the stitches down, then you can make dishcloths running out your ears. Um, in 2006, um, our son was in um, a coma. He had been on a choir mission trip and um, he had seizures and he went into, he had a high fever that set off a seizure. And um, so when we were there, you know, of course we were very focused on that situation. When he was released from the hospital, he had lots of doctor's appointments. And so I picked up a ball of yarn and it had um, this, uh, a, well, not this pattern, a similar pattern. It was actually for a granny square uh, dishcloth. And um, so I thought, well, this will be fun. So I made a few of those and then I started making this dishcloth and made a different style dishcloth. And I wound up with like 70 dishcloths. I just don't think I will need any more. I gave them as gifts, but it was just something that to me was, um, it was mindless, it was quick, it used basic stitches, and um, it was just perfect. And so since then we have, my sister and I have been making dish calls like crazy. So yarn over, go in the top of the chain, pull through, drop two stitches, and then drop two more. Now, if for some reason that you're having trouble um, dropping the stitches off, it could be that your chain is too tight. So, you'll want to go back and redo those stitches. I think my husband's laughing because it said the chain was too tight. <laughs> This is called the double crochet. I had some fun experiences. I had the ball of yarn. Um, when we went to one of the doctor's appointments, um, I had dropped the ball of yarn and had it had unrolled all the way down the hall to the exam room and guess where the exam room was? 
in the back of the building. <laughs> so the nurse came through and was um, rolling my yarn up for me. <laughs> and I just kind of held on to my, um, the portion I've already done. It keeps it out of the way and it also creates some tension. And now we're on our last double crochet stitch. I'm going to yarn over, go through, pick up, drop two off. Then we're going to yarn over and drop two more off. The tail is still there. So then you're going to take your thread, yarn over, and pull it through. That is called a slip stitch. So now you have your first row of your dishcloth and you are going to do let's see on this dishcloth you are going to do one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12 rows, just like we did. So I'm going to show you how to start your second row. You're going to turn it. This is the way we were used, we had it. Let me move this one out of the way. This is the direction we've been working. Then you're going to flip it over and you're going to go Pick up your yarn, go into the first chain, and this is the top. It's considered the back, but I'm going to say top because, or closest to you. Then you're going to pick up your thread. You're going to let two off. You still have two on your hook. Let those two off. Now you're going to pick up your thread and you're going to go back through the top of it, the chain. Now some people when they do the double crochet, they will go through both of these loops. You see the top chain? They're going to go through both loops. I only go through one because I like the pattern that it gives to the front of the dishcloth. The top of the chain, this it'll leave you this design. So, go do 12 of these um, rows and then we'll be back to finish the dishcloth.